Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, a great millstone, Christmas word, truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim, scattered the four corners of the globe, Christmas word, truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, Christmas word, truthfully and sincerely. Say shalom to y'all out there. And this is another uh, sit down lesson, another quick one. On this uh, April the 26th, 2022, on this uh, Tuesday afternoon, 4.32 p.m. Central Standard Time. And this is a new, another news article right here uh, from uh, RT.com. And the highlight of this, and the highlight of this uh, sit down lesson, the title is going to be for today is the increase of the nations of that the weak say I am strong. And this is from uh, North Korea and new nuclear weapon ple pledge. And this was on, posted on April the 26, 2022 from uh, RT.com uh, World News. And it says, Kim Jong-un says, Pyongyang Yang's nukes aren't limited to the defense use and will be deployed if the country is provoked. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has ratcheted up his nuclear rhetoric of vowing to accelerate deployment of countries' weapons of mass destruction and to deploy them offensively if the DPRK's fundamental interests are violated. We will continue to take measures for further developing the nuclear forces of states at the fastest possible speed, North Korea's state-run media outlets, the KCNA, quoted Kim's as saying at a military parade on Monday night. In Pyongyang, he added that North Korea's nuclear forces will be prepared for deployment at any time. The country's nuclear weapons could be used proactively if North Korea is threatened. Kim told the crowd of troops and spectators Monday, Monday's parade featured missiles capability of striking the country's adversaries, uh, which is the adversaries could be the United States, could be North Korea, I mean, could be the United States, and could be South Korea and Japan potentially as well too. But they are mostly adversary right now. At the moment, I believe it's the United States. So, you know. Then you might have a uh, ally team up with China, Russia, Iran, and North Korea as well, too. I mean, you know, that's potentially, you know. It says those weapons, including the international... Inter Intercontinental ballistic missiles, which is the ICBMs, that could carry a nuclear warhead to the U.S. mainland, and so so fuel rockets that could be used against South Korea or Japan. Right. So you know that goes into you know the more of increase of the uh, nations to rise against nations. And the kingdom against kingdoms, you know, it's been further increasing even more and more uh, in the news on an everyday basis, you know. And you got the uh, increase of these uh, nations, which is the book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 10, which I'm about to bring out right now. You know, you're starting to see more and more of these nations continuing doing these uh, nuclear capability testings displaying their nuclear arsenals even they have a speech just like the president of uh, Iran had a speech as well too you know he was saying taking shots at, at his adversaries you know that they are uh, capable of uh, having military uh, strength in the nuclear arsenal just like uh, North Korea Kim Jong-un said the same thing when he uh, previously had his uh, I believe his parade he had a speech 
and the spectators was there uh, along with the uh, North Korean troops and soldiers displaying their nuclear arsenal, you know, and I believe you know, uh, Kim Jong-un said in a statement saying, you know, he's going to ratchet, he's going to step up even more and more of his nuclear capability of his military might and strength just in case if their country feel like it's being violated and it feels like if they're being threatened by their adversaries, which is potentially the United States and Japan as well too, and many other uh, countries that are potentially might be adversaries with uh, North Korea, you know, as he stated that statement, you know, according to the media reports, you know. So, you know, that goes back into Joel 3 and 10, going to uh, start to see of uh, more of these nations starting to say, like the weak say, I'm strong, you know. And I'm going to bring that up. This is the book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 10, and it reads, Get your plowsheds into swords, into plenty hooks, into spears. And let the weak say I am strong, right? Just like I mentioned, you know, North Korea, China, Russia, Iran, India, Pakistan, and many more, Ethiopia, Turkey, and many more other countries got the military strength and capabilities that can be able to uh, test IBC, ICBM missiles, hypersonic missiles, long range, short range, and medium range as well too, you know. That's why uh, throughout the whole year of 2021 and all the way into the year 2022, that's why you've been seeing uh, war games, simulation games, you know, exercise military training, joint exercise military training, testing air hypersonic missiles. That's all you've been seeing throughout the year of uh, 2021 and all the way into the year 2022. Of uh, These nations are starting to gear up, well, potentially coming very soon of an imminent World War III. Of these countries feel like they're fitting, feeling threatened by their adversaries or their enemies or for protection for their uh, citizens, for their soldiers, and for their uh, country as a whole, you know. That's why you're starting to see these nations are starting to rise up and say, let the weak say I'm strong. <coughs> these nations got more of good capability nuclear arsenal just as much as the United States because these nations are not afraid of uh, the United States no more. Even though sometimes these economic sanctions might affect them, but that's still not going to stop them for uh, having protection over their citizens, over their country, you know, over their leader and their army men as well, too. That's why you're seeing the uh, doing these uh, exercise drills and these training and these military purchases from their uh, allies or close relatives, ally friends they've been with for a while, you know, starting to see a lot of more of that as well, too. So you're starting to see more of these nations are starting to show their uh, military strength and arsenal and capability in full uh, training as well, too, and getting prepared, you know, just in case if anything goes down, if they feel like their country is threatened, you know, by their adversaries, you know. So, you know, that goes into the book of Joel 3, verse 10. Let the weak say I am strong. They are starting to show their strength, you know, in, in the days that we are currently living in. But expect to see more of increase of that in these last days, you know. So with that, you know, that's all I want to bring out of an update of uh, let the weak say I am strong. Starting to increase in these last days. As I brought it out, that scripture book of Joel 3, verse 10, of uh, these nations are starting to show their military strength and capabilities, you know. And once again, uh, I hope this was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Yahushai. And first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash. 
double honors to the elders, apostles, the great millstone, prisoners' word, truthfully and sincerely. And uh, shout out to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, prisoners' word, truthfully and sincerely. And shout out to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, prisoners' word, truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. And until next time, I will say, Shalom and a ball, ball, ball.